So, sister. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your excellent, informative and effective speech. Thank you very much. Jazakallah. And here's my question. I, I would like to know the difference between haram and makru. Haram is something very clear. Al haram ma haram Allahu fi kitabihi. Something that is clear cut in the Quran, like eating of pork, yeah, eating of of blood, the the the, the what the flowing <coughs> the running blood, or <coughs> a lot of things. Now I'm going to explain haram. The sister asked importantly. Haram is divided into five groups. One is food. You must identify, identify how many kind of food is haram. Number two is drink. What kind of drink is haram? Number three is the dressing. What kind of dress is haram? Number four is action. What kind of action is haram? Number five is speech. What kind of talk or word is haram? There are five categories of haram. So it's good to go deeper and deeper understand how many food that is considered haram in Islam and also from the Sunnah of the Prophet and how many action there is haram how many word that is considered as haram word like gossiping, backbiting, lying, cheating all these haram is a form of word yeah? shouting at your, raising your wife in front of your parent is haram because Allah forbid you to raise your wife in front of your parent example what is makro? Yeah, makro is something that if you do it, people don't like you. It's not haram. People hate that kind of thing. I give you a simple example, passing of wind. Do you know it's passing of wind? Do you know it's a passing of wind? Not the wind that passed by us, no. While you are sitting there sometimes, some wind has been released. Now there are two kinds of wind. One the silent one and one with the sound the sound one is okay because people know who is the one who is doing it there's a clear wind but you have the wind they call the monafic wind it's a hidden one and then you pretend who, who do this who do this now passing our wind is not haram is it haram to pass wind no you should not keep it no, well, the whole body will shake. Let it go. But if you let it go here, people will hate you. People don't like you. It's makro. Something that people hate, but it's not haram. This is just an example. Yeah? Something that's not haram, but you do it in front. You can just excuse yourself, go there, and you go in and pass out. It's no problem. Yeah? But you can do it here, so I, I have no complaint, you know. Yeah, but... Those people who are starting to say, why you do this, brother? Astaghfirullah. Yeah, if they, they, they are some wind that have no smell, alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an example. Second thing, the second example of makru, people don't like. Like the time of the Prophet, he said that whoever take fresh onion, don't come to the mosque because he's worried that you disturb the, the peace of the mind. The, 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 of other people because you are used with this smell maybe other people are not used with that smell so if you do it then it's not good the people you are making him very eh, very I mean uncomfortable so that is called makro but it's not haram you know? but if you leave it that means you are a person who have adapt people will love you and people will like you more like you go to people's house there is a guest room so you got to stay there you don't just go in and walk in i want to see your room i want to see your kitchen it's not good some people don't like you to go to their house and then you want to come to the kitchen they don't like it you know is it i said you meet somebody how old are you sir this is makro he don't like you to ask how old he is because age is a secret yeah, age is a secret i people ask me how old are you i said you don't have the right 
Yeah, to ask how old are you? I say, where do you work? I can say, I work here. How much is your salary? That is makruh. Why do you want to know about my salary? Who are you? And why must I tell you about my salary? No. So these are things that people don't like you to ask. If you ask, it's not haram, but he don't like it. And this is what makruh is.